doing. It was aware of our presence, and it had acceleration rates. I mean, it went from zero to matching our speed. And the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. On the panel today for sharing their stories on how they've engaged UAPs, which has brought attention to this matter. Beyond, actually, our material science is currently on Non-human spacecraft. Crazy world we live in. Lack of transparency regarding UAPs. You know about this stuff? Me? No. I mean, I might have been following this for a while, but after four presidents, 13 wars, three recessions, a global pandemic, then in between that, there's four and five government projects where they actually investigated unidentified flying objects, as well as a crash retrieval program, a reverse engineering program. I mean, I don't know anything. I can't, I can't keep up. Biologics game. But that guy says he does, and he joins a long list of pilots, engineers, rocket scientists. I mean, admirals, generals, astronauts. They're all people that are saying that there's something there. You know, and I'm not just talking about, like, lights in the sky or a crop circle in the middle of woods or even a story that they heard from a friend of a friend. Something that they saw with their own eyes and they think is... Buddy at work, he loves talking about UFOs. The objects that are being seen by commercial pilots are uh, performing maneuvers that are unexplainable due to our current understanding of our technology. Is there any indication that these UAPs could be uh, essentially uh, collecting reconnaissance? Are you aware of any of our enemies that have that capability? No. You know what he told me? He told me that the government will actually feed journalists fake stories on purpose and then later they'll expose them. So they all look like frauds and nut jobs and you can't trust anybody about anything. It's crazy, right? There's a whole team dedicated to it. What did he say they were called? The, the aviation group or something? No, the aviary. What's that? The aviary, it's the group of individuals loosely associated with military intelligence. They, they act as disinformation agents effectively. They create and spread fake government documents in order to discredit real legitimate researchers who are trying to talk about this stuff, as well as contaminating the flow of information so then nobody knows what's going on. I mean, you don't have to look far to find it, right? All you need is an internet connection. You can look up things like the Majestic 12 documents, Project Serpo, op psychological operations of Paul Benowitz. He's an American citizen, for God's sake. And that means everywhere. You can't escape it. So that's probably why nobody knows what's going on. Wow. For a guy who says he doesn't know anything, you seem to know a lot. Yeah, either that or I'm crazy. You have a real tendency towards self-pity, Tom. Has anyone ever told you that? How do you know my name? And I don't think you're crazy. Your sister Katie doesn't think so either. She believes you, doesn't she? She's in Arizona now, right? Just had her baby daughter, wants to be closer to the in-laws. They had a big one there once too, didn't they? A UFO sighting, I mean. That was when, 97? Flying this the size of six football fields. So they say. That was in Maricopa County. She's not too far from there. Scottsdale? No. No, Paradise Valley. Safe neighborhood, suburbs. And yet, she still feels the need to use a digital keypad on the door. Paranoia must run in the family. In fact, I know it does. What's the code on that keypad? 21615? unless she's changed it in the last week. Who are you? Curious man, like you. We have seen these off of our East Coast. Several other former military and intelligence officials have come forward. Time flies. I could pick your brain all night, but I've got work in the morning. Now, I want you to put this all in your little black notebook so you don't forget, yeah? I'll be seeing you, Tom. flight crew who took the image. The image was of something that uh, I am not able to attach to any human capability, either from the United States or from any of our adversaries.